Hi, you all. Um, this is just a little uh, helpful video about the PEEP. Uh, science, family science app that's going to go along with your Flipgrid activities for CHD 217. So I want to show you a little bit about how that works so that you will be um, ready to do those. Okay, so get out your phone and uh, let's, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go to um, first of all, the first thing I want you to do is if you in an iPhone, you know, go to your settings. I'm going to show you how to download the PEEP app to your phone, and then that way you don't ever have to go back in and access, okay? So go to your app store if you are, uh-oh, let me find mine. Go to the app store if you are um, an Apple phone person, and if you're not and you're a, um, whatever that other phone is, then you go to where you get your apps, okay? So go to App Store, okay? Search PEEP, P-E-E-P, -E -E Family Science, okay? So just PEEP, ooh, you can't see it, but there you go, PEEP Family Science and search, okay? All right, it looks like this. This is the app, okay? So get that out. See, I'm getting that app. It's free. You don't have to say anything. It says processing payment, but there really is no payment, okay? So you're going to get that app on your phone. That's going to make it so much easier for you. Okay, so while we are getting this to download, I'm going to uh, leave just me for a second, and I'm going to go to over to Blackboard. Okay, so now. Here is uh, the instructions for the Flipgrid, and this is what you're going to do. Here we are in assignment two. This is for this week. Next week, it'll be assignment three. I'm not going to re-record this video. It's just going to be the same one because you're going to know what to do, okay? Now, remember, you now have the um, PEEP app on your phone. This is how this little thing right here tells you how to do that. So, But if you follow this video, then you've already done it, okay? So I'm going to open up the PEEP app, okay? comes up like this. Okay. And it says explore colors together with your child, if you can see that. Okay. Explore colors together with your child. Slide. Watch a video and do an activity. Okay. Use this app twice a week for four weeks of fun and learning. Okay. So we're going to use it once a week though. So we're going to X out, okay? Before you start, there's a week one parent video that you can go ahead and watch, okay? Or you can skip it. I would watch it if I were you. It's four minutes. I'm not going to watch it in this demo video because it would make it too long, okay? But you will want to watch that. I'm going to click skip though, okay? Now, week one, day one is colors everywhere, and that's your assignment. Okay, because if you look right here, you see that it says flip grid colors. Okay, so that's your assignment. So there is a watch and talk, a peep of a different color, or colors around us. Okay, so let's, for the sake of this video, let's just choose colors around us. You could do peep of a different color if you wanted. Okay, so but we're going to choose that one. So match the colors of the crayons to things around us. And the science skills that we will be doing, just describing, comparing, and matching colors. Okay, so that's what it says that we'll do, be doing for this particular activity. So I'm telling it to start, okay? So it's saying for you to gather your materials. You're gonna need some crayons to do this one, okay? So then we go to the next one, get ready, spread them out. All we wanna do is follow the same thing, okay? All right, we're gonna go along with this activity, okay? And all I'm wanting you to do is to do this activity as if you were doing it with a child, okay? That's what you're going to do. Now, I know that this is a little difficult because um, we're having to do this class that is so hands-on by video, by Flipgrid video. If we were in the classroom, we would be doing this kind of, we'd be doing this together, but we don't have that option, okay? So, if I were doing this, I would say, 
I would go back and I would say, let's find something in the room that's the same color as the yellow crayon. So I might say, okay, guys, we're going to be looking today for something that looks like this crayon, like this yellow crayon. Okay, so let's see, and maybe use your phone and scroll around, and, and if you could see right here, like I could say, here's something yellow, look, look right here, here's a star that's yellow, you're exactly right, there is a yellow star in this room, that's right. Um, now I'm asking them to compare the yellow crayon to the yellow, are the colors exactly the same? Were they a little different? I bet my star is a little bit brighter, goldish color than that yellow crayon. So I might tell how they're similar and how they're different, okay? Let's find crayons that are the same colors, okay? So look around the room and that's all you're gonna do. And you're just gonna keep going through this, looking at the activity and talking about it. Don't make it harder than it is, okay? It's just your reflection, you walking through this very quickly. We don't want, the video can only be up to 10 minutes, okay? Can't be any longer than that. So you might do just one part and then reflect about it. And if you happen to have a child that you can do this with and then reflect on it, what did you do? How did it go? Um, do you think that it that you could, how could you apply this learning to new situations? I kind of give you an idea right here, okay? So that's all you're going to do. Don't make it harder than it is, okay? Good luck. I can't wait to watch your videos.